No. One motor. This is yours? You're out. You're out. The door. There's something there? Yeah. Oh, there's something there. Hold the door in. Hey, just my. No. No, I just said there's something there. It's the black thing. Yeah, I know. You see, it's programmed to take turns, but not to hit something that is in the middle of the <laughs> Again, it's really easy when you move the options. <laughs> there you go. These things that you get it depends on many many different uh, uh, conditions. Like if you add more conditions to the program, you may add some more features, more sensors. Then it will complicate more the program. You need more time. But basically, the basics, the the, the principles, you see it working. This is section two of our second project. We're trying to make this bot um, get to the to the end as soon as possible. So what my robot is gonna do is gonna he's gonna walk until he um, touches the wall. At that moment, he's gonna measure the, the slope of the wall. And he's going to in that direction. This to become a little bit more of a point of interest. So if you want, we can change the slope of the wall. We're adding program three to avoid all the obstacles using the ultrasound, the whiskers, and it won't back up at anything because it's going to use the back ultrasound also. Now it's going to go and do a quick U-turn when it sees a corner. Get back in there. Again, it's going to be caught in the corner. It's going to back up to 180. Same with the whiskers, if it gets caught in the corner with the whiskers. It just saw the ultrasound. Uh, as soon as the ultrasound, it should recess the counters also. So, uh, any different sensor fix it up, it'll you know, reset the counter. If it's purely ultrasound or uh, purely whisker for a certain number of counts, it will back up to 180 and then go back and. Uh,